What's going on you revolutionists and welcome back. Today I'm bringing you guys a brand new zombie video to my channel. Today's video is going to be my how to guide on how to earn the special weapon on Grod Crovey known as the Gauntlet of Siegfried. This how to guide is not that hard, very very simple. Basically all the steps are always going to be the same for you every time you do this no matter what match you go into on Grod Crovey. But if you guys enjoy this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below, and let's get right into it. So step one of this how-to guide is to take the dragon to the hatchery area, and to go downstairs, and then all you do is just shoot down the egg to acquire it, and that's basically all step one is. Very simple, very easy to do, and now on to step two. So step two of this how-to guide is to actually place the dragon egg in one of these nests that are on the map in the areas where the dragon spits fire and you have to bathe the dragon egg in the fire itself. This is a three round process. I placed the egg down on round 10. I had to fully complete round 10 then go to round 11 as well complete that round fully and then on round 12 I'm able to pick up the egg again and then we move on to the next step. So the next step of this how-to guide is obviously pick up the dragon egg that you just placed down. And then also now you have to kill napalm zombies. So these are the zombies that get set on fire by the dragon when the dragon spits fire in whatever specific area it spits fire. But for this, make sure you have Juggernog or the danger closest Gobblegum because these zombies do actually explode and cause a lot of damage to you if you're very close to them. But I say definitely have Jug, but it's very simple to try and stay far away from them as possible if you can. But that's all step three is. So the next step of this how-to guide is to get penetrating multi-kills. So when they mean penetrating multi-kills, basically have high-powered guns like LMGs or sniper rifles. And me preferably, I like to have them pack a punch when I'm doing this uh, step of the guide. Just because... It just mows down the zombies faster, especially if you're doing this at higher rounds. But I'm going to show you guys how I specifically did it, and here's how I did it. So the way I did it, I actually pack a punch the 48 dredge, and then I just started running a train of zombies around in the dragon command area. This area can be very, I would say, difficult at times, just because the way it's laid out, there's all these windows everywhere. And basically, you can get stuck on the pillars, you can get stuck on the machines in the Dragon Command area. But once you actually have a group of zombies, like, compact together, you can get this step done very quickly. And this is very simple when you actually have it down-packed and you're just following that pattern over and over again. You can get it done really quick, and that's how I did it. So the next step of this how-to guide is to get melee kills. So when you're thinking of melee kills, you're going to think of like, Oh, I got to go get the bowie knife now. But no, get the dragon shield. Dragon shield kills are still classified as melee kills. And it makes this step so, so simple. You don't need a ton of melee kills. I counted at least five to six kills that I got that were melee kills with the shield. But that's all this step is. And now we go on to the next step. So the next step of this how-to guide is to go back to the hatchery with the egg. And now you have to incubate the egg. It's place it in this machine right here. Start the generator. And it causes like a lockdown mode, I would call it. And basically, you have to kill the zombies around it. Just the way you do with the pods. The zombies, when you kill them, will actually have like a lightning bolt shoot at them to go back to the egg. Just to like to power it up. It's very simple, but this part, I would definitely say to have pack-a-punch guns, just because it makes killing super easy, and this is actually a three-step part as well. So yeah, I put it down around 15, so I have to complete this whole round, then I have to complete all of round 16, and then at the beginning of round 17, I get to pick up the egg, and then bring it back to the starting area of the map. So on this round, I pick up the egg, but I actually had Valkyrie drones. So I'm just going to skip this whole part for you guys so you can see in the ending. So for the final step, you go to back to your tombstone and you interact with it. And then it gives you the Gauntlet of Siegfried. 
So the gauntlet assist rate is basically a glove with a mini dragon on it. Basically, the dragon can spit fire. You have like this crazy ass Superman punch with it. And also the little dragon on there can go and retrieve stuff for you. I know the Gauntlet of Siegfried is a big part of the Easter Egg. So if you guys are definitely going to do the Easter Egg, obviously, definitely get this. Because you're definitely going to need this. And I'm going to show you guys some gameplay of it. But if you guys did enjoy this how-to guide on how to get a Gauntlet of Siegfried, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. It's really appreciated. It helps the channel put my name out there so other people can see my content and enjoy it as you guys have. But here's the gameplay. It's really cool. Basically, you're just burning the hell out of zombies with this green flame. It's very powerful to a certain extent. But it's not that overpowered. Like, see there, I was getting really damaged by the zombies. And I actually go down right here. But it does have some kick to it. But I hope you guys have enjoyed this video again. And I'll see you guys next time.